Hi, my name is Peter with Air Vapor, and today I want to take this time to talk about California Phase 3 testing specifically as it relates to vape cartridges. Phase 3 testing is a California initiative that took effect on January 1st, 2019 that requires all vape cartridges filled with plant-based essential oils to be tested for the presence of heavy metals. So today we're gonna to take a little bit of time to talk about exactly what phase three testing is, why some vape cartridges are passing and others are not, and what exactly we here at Air Vapor are doing to help address this issue. Let's dive in. The California Department of Consumer Affairs mandated laboratory testing for all products entering the regulated industry to occur in three phases. Phase one began January 1st of last year, 2018. Phase two began July 1st of last year, 2018. And now phase three has just begun in January 1st of this year, 2019. Part of the phase three testing requirements state that all new products must be tested in their primary packaging for the presence of heavy metals. These tests search specifically for the presence of the following four heavy metals, cadmium, arsenic, mercury, and lead. Phase three testing defines specific limits for the presence of each of these heavy metals. And if a product is found to contain any of these metals in a concentration over the allowed limit, then that product will not be allowed for sale in California. This is a very big deal for vape cartridge producers, especially since most of the vape cartridges on the market contain metal. Furthermore, it has come to our attention that some vape cartridges are failing this test while other vape cartridges are passing, sometimes with even the exact same cartridge failing at one lab and passing at another lab. After speaking with clients, factories, and testing laboratories to conduct our own research, we here at Air Vapor have determined two major factors contributing to the variation in phase three test results for vape cartridges in California. Contributing factor number one is that there are no standardized testing procedures. There is no standard procedure that each lab must follow when conducting phase three testing for heavy metals, which leads to each laboratory giving different results, sometimes for the exact same vape cartridge. For example, some labs will choose to carefully open up the vape cartridge and extract the oil inside with a syringe, while other laboratories will choose to pulverize or physically break open the vape car cartridge in order to extract the oil out. The problem though with this pulverizing method is that it causes the oil to come in contact with other components of the vape cartridge that it was never meant to touch. Thus, part of the problem here are the testing procedures themselves. And until the California Department of Consumer Affairs decides to implement standardized testing procedures for each product category, specifically for vape cartridges, then these inconsistent test results will likely continue to be an issue. Now, the second major contributing factor we have found is the use of ROHS brass. Almost all vape cartridges on the market from reliable, recognized manufacturers contain ROHS brass. ROHS stands for Restriction of Hazardous Substances, which is a standard that was adopted by the European Union in 2003. It states that all brass components used in the manufacture of electronic cigarettes and vape pens should contain only 4% or less of lead. However, even this is a problematic amount of lead in a vape cartridge. I don't know about you, but I certainly don't want any lead in my vape cartridge. Furthermore, the California phase three testing limit for lead in vape cartridge products is 0.5 ppm parts per million, which is far below the 4% that is of lead that is allowed in ROHS brass. What this basically means is that if oil touches any exposed brass inside of a vape cartridge, then it may very well fail phase three testing. Here at Air Vapor, we can't change state law or laboratory testing procedures, but we can certainly change vape cartridges. It's what we do for a living. That said, Air Vapor is responding to this issue with three solutions. First, our immediate solution. 
If any of your vape cartridges are currently failing California Phase 3 testing, give us a call or send us an email. We have a growing list of vetted testing facilities in California that know how to properly test vape cartridges for Phase 3 requirements. So a solution may be as simple as using a better laboratory to conduct your tests. Second, our short-term solution. Air Vapor currently carries vape cartridges that are proven to pass California Phase 3 testing at multiple laboratories. So again, please give us a call if your current cartridges are failing because a solution may be as simple as switching your vape cartridges. Third, our long-term solution. Air Vapor is currently producing completely lead-free cartridges, which are available for pre-order now. There are only three types of brass alloy that are completely lead-free and commercially available, and only one of those alloys is suitable for use in vape cartridges. We have sourced that lead-free alloy, and we are actively using it to produce our next generation of vape cartridges. Please give us a call, find out more, and place your pre-orders for lead-free vape cartridges now. Here at Air Vapor, we consider ourselves stewards of the vape industry. And since many of us at the company, including myself, are not only vape users, but family oriented, we are absolutely determined to provide information, service, and products that support our very personal values. Please call or email us with any questions you may have or drop a comment in the section below. We want to create a lively discussion around this topic since it is very important and affects many people's health and safety. Thanks for watching.